Uh, yeah, I had a friend. We were on the phone. Uh, I guess we were just discussing theology. Uh, I believe in God, and, and uh, you know, I, I'm I res- I'm respectful in regards to people's beliefs and stuff. And he was telling me his beliefs, so we just had a conversation. You know, uh, it got a little heated, but it was still a respectful conversation. At the end of the day, you know, we we were talking on the phone, but I would have shook his hand. You know, at the end of the day. Yeah, that that happens here all the time. So okay, so he told me about the show. He actually gave me the number, like I guess, like a week ago when mm-hmm. we had the conversation, and he was like, just like talk in, just uh, you know, uh, tune in and talk to them, you know, just uh, talk to them and figure out, you know, what they're talking about and stuff. So, but what do you believe in? Why? So, oh uh, well, before I answer that, I was trying to figure out, you know, like I've never even heard of this of this. I guess is this like the YouTube thing or like the uh, radio or what's going on? We have been on the. Uh, live uh, uh, cable access show for many years and and over the over time we have just uh, diverged from that and just are an internet only show we've been going on for 20 years now really that, that's uh, good that's successful yeah that actually reminds me they're, they're gonna be putting together like a special video package thing for the 20th anniversary which is going to air immediately following the live show on the 22nd really well uh, congratulations but uh Yes, uh, I was just uh, saying, you know, like I believe in God. He told me, like, you used to be a Christian and, and everything. God told you, you that, or your friend? <laughs> huh? No, no, no. I said, I said, my friend. Uh, okay. Jacob, uh, he. Well, I mean, it, it was not clear because you said I used to believe, or I believe in God, and he told me that you used to be a Christian. And I was like, that would be awesome. <laughs> well, I probably should have. I probably yeah. should have made that uh, clear. But uh, yeah, he was telling me how you used to be a uh, Christian. And, I mean, I've listened to like your conversations. You sound very intelligent, so I don't think you're not intelligent. Well, thanks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I was uh, going to well, say. I was telling you, you know, like, I believe in God, and I want to, you know, but what, why? what are your beliefs? I, like, what are, like, what's I, I, your belief system? What, I believe in most of the same things that anybody else would believe. I just don't believe in that a God exists. I don't believe in anything no. supernatural. I... I don't believe I don't, in afterlife. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know really how to answer that because it's not like uh, reason, reason number there's a package. Whatever, whatever's going on in the background, we got to turn that off, or I'm going to have to hang up. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, give me, give me one second, please. Let me turn. Yeah. Okay, and on the 22nd, they will play best of clips, as it says down there at the bottom. <laughs> See, I know everything that's going on as soon as it pops up on that little... <laughs> God is talking to us. By the way, that reminds me, Mark, I have a, an idea for a t-shirt that we're going to have to do after we're done with this. But Yeah, Calvin, you there? Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, so you, you, you asked kind of... I, I understand the confusion because if you're a Christian or a Hindu or a Muslim or whatever, you just use that label as kind of like a package for all of your beliefs. But the thing is there's a thousand different denominations of Christianity. So saying you're a Christian really doesn't tell yeah. me all that much about your beliefs. Oh. It just tells me that you identify as a Christian. I'm an atheist. Um, I accept okay, I reasonable that. findings of science. I have um, views on morality that are based on well-being uh, and freedom and equality and what, what benefits us. But I couldn't put together a belief system in a package in 30 seconds. Well, <coughs> Understand what you're saying. I'm. Uh, I actually I slipped up. It was a slip of the tongue. I didn't mean to say Christianity. I meant to say I'm a follower of uh, Christ. I hate saying like uh, denominations and like religions and stuff. Just yeah, but that that doesn't do anything else either. Say, saying you're saying you're well, follower of Christ is that that's pretty much just as useful as saying you're a Christian. If you want to say like if you want to say like that, that's then that's what I'm saying. But I'm just saying, you know, I try my best to be like uh, Christ, and I believe God died for our sins. Like, if you used to be a Christian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, that's a thing. That's a, that, this is the shorthand. I I suspect that I have a good idea of what you're talking about, but I don't know what you believe specifically or why, because it's going to be different for almost every person who identifies as a Christian. Okay. Well. Okay, so I'm a Bible believing Christian. I believe that the Bible is the inspired word. The, the whole, the whole Bible, like all sixty six well, books. Under, we're under, we're under the New Testament, but yes, the whole Bible. Uh, well, okay, so we're under the New Testament, but okay, so but, so uh, I know about. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you know about what? 
Huh? No, uh, well, I'm saying we're under the New Testament now, but I still believe that the uh, like the Old Testament is uh, inspired by God, too. So when God said that it was okay to own slaves, that was a good thing? When God said what? That it's okay to have slaves? That was a good thing? Uh, well, he talked. He talked about. He talked about how to be toward your slaves. He said, "Be respectful," and you know, he was talking about being respectful to your slaves and all that stuff. But he didn't. He never said slavery was bad. Yeah, you're right. He never said slavery was bad. What it, what what it says in Exodus is it tells you who you can buy as slaves and that you can beat them as long as they don't die within a couple of days and that they were your property that you could pass on to your children. Are those good things? Well. I'm not sure if you said that in the... Uh, Exodus 21. Verse. Exodus 21. Go well, read it. Well, well, I'm not, I'm not talking about that verse. I'm talking about... I'm talking about he says, be respectful towards them. Like it, like how... Like like slavery towards like the African Americans or like with the... Like any, anybody who's the ever... The Bible says slave. you can own people as property, pass them on to your children, says, I, and you can beat them as long as they don't die within two days. Is that a good thing? Like I said, it didn't say that slavery was bad. Uh, why is it that you can't answer this simple question? Is it a good thing to tell people that they can own people as property, pass that property onto their children, buy slaves from the people around them, and beat them as long as they don't die within a couple days? Is that a good thing? You know, was it a... What, okay, I'm going I'm to I'm just try to answer the question. Do I think that's a good thing? You know, I can't... I can't really just say like that's like obviously you know it isn't. I can't just say that's the best thing in the world or anything like that. But oh I'm my gosh! Like, listen, listen to your listen to yourself. I can't say that that's yeah. not like the best thing in the world. I can say that it's well, an abomination that no moral being could have ever said. I can say that loud and proud in every freaking week on the show. Why is it that you can't yeah. say that? Well, I'm not going to call it an abomination like you did. But well, like why? Said, I'm not you don't think you don't think that owning people is an abomination? Yeah, I think it's horrible. No. Okay. And 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 not I think this is a prime example of how religions are are foster evil. You know, this, foster this is this is all attitudes. irrelevant as to whether or not there's a god. But if you're arguing that the Bible is the inspired word of God, and you're yeah. reluctant to point out that it contains things that are immoral. And sanctions them. Well, what else do you uh, would you say is immoral about it? Well, first of all, I don't think I would need anything else. You only need the one. But also, well, I would you, say I would say that instructions to kill homosexuals is immoral. I would say the subjugation well, of women is immoral. I would say that having women have an inferior position to men is immoral. I would say that selling your daughter into slavery is immoral. I would say that God saying, I'll let you win this war if you sacrifice the first thing that comes out of your, mouth, out of your house when you get home is immoral. I would say that substitutional atonement is immoral. I would say that the very yeah. concept of sin is immoral, the idea that I could somehow offend a God or that something that I could think or do, which has no impact on any other person in, in, in reality, is immoral. Yeah. I would say that having, holding someone responsible for the sins of their father under the fourth or the tenth generation is immoral. How many more do you need before you recognize that you're making excuses for a book that advocates for immoral positions? And you say that in regards to the fact that that's your opinion, which I respect. You know, if that's your you don't, opinion, do you disagree? Do you think those things are morally good? Uh, I don't agree with any of the stuff you said, but the one wait a minute, you made, uh, wait, a minute first, wait a minute, when you say you don't agree with it, are you agreeing with me that it's immoral? I'm disagreeing with your approach to it. Uh, so, so you're saying those things are morally good? Well, if I, I would have to go one by one and, and, and talk about each Is one. Is it morally that. good to hold women in an inferior status to men? Who says that that's an inferior your status? Your Bible. Christ is the head of the church, is the same as the husband of the head of the household. Women did not have the same rights that men have. Paul does not allow a woman to, to permit a woman to teach in church. You're right. He doesn't. Yeah. Is that good? Because is that good? I, I do think I do think the man should be the head of the household. I do think. Then you are an immoral, unequal, sexist buffoon. You have given up equality in deference to your book. 
No wonder it's so difficult for you to say that slavery is immoral. It's so difficult for you to say that all the other things I, I listed are immoral. I question without difficulty. Yes, you, you, you managed to get the exactly wrong answer without difficulty. Congratulations. <laughs> you are willing to uh, sacrifice you your humanity in order to appeal to a book that you know to be immoral. You just won't acknowledge it. No, I just want to acknowledge your approach to it. I, I'm telling you what the book says. Are you saying I'm wrong about what the book says? I'm saying you're wrong in regards to things that you said about the book. Does, does Exodus 21 allow people to own slaves as property and to beat them as long as they don't die within a couple days? Is that what Exodus 21 says? Exodus, Exodus 21 says it like that, but you're not saying it in the right way. I have, would you like me to read it to you so that you can deny it after I've read the, it? I know the verse. No, you, know, you don't. Says, okay. You either don't know the verse or you are lying about something else. Because I virtually well, quoted it verbatim. I'm saying exactly, even if this says exactly that, just like you said, that one verse you were talking about, what you say? You were talking about the homo, yeah, you were talking about how homo, like sexuality and stuff. And then, yeah, do you think homosexuals should be put to death? That they're deserving of death? Well, solely in my opinion, I don't think they're deserving of death, but I don't think it's right. So is that a... So you're saying you don't think they, de they deserve to be, they deserve death? I'm saying in my opinion, I didn't say his opinion. His opinion is different. His, whose opinion? Is different. Whose opinion? If if God says it's about if God says it's an abomination, right? Right. Well, then, God's wrong. Then I have to, it's that simple. So who's wrong? You or God? Well, obviously me because mine comes. You're from wrong. Not wanting to harm anyone. So, so God <laughs> says it's an abomination that deserving of death. You disagree with him, and you are saying that you're wrong. I I agree with it. That's abomination. But I wouldn't, in my opinion, I wouldn't kill them. But you know what God I, said, the, the issue wasn't whether or not you'd kill them. It was the issue of whether or not they're deserving of death. Who's wrong? You or God? And if you're wrong, why aren't you changing your mind to be right with God? Didn't you say that you were a follower of Christ and we're doing your best to do what God wants? How could you possibly sit here and suggest that God's right, but you're going to continue in your wrongness when your wrongness is actually better? How would I continue in my wrongness? Because I haven't put anyone to death for that. So how I'm talking about whether you think they deserve to be put to death. I mean, like I said, it definitely is an abomination. It's not right. Well, why is it an uh, abomination? What's an abomination towards or from? What is it about two people? What is it about two people having sex that is an abomination? Uh, well, simply uh, from the thing that you just don't seem to get that at the end of the day, religious or not, it's someone's opinion solely. You can believe. I'm not, I don't care about believe. opinions. You might as well, if, if, all mean, if all we're going to do is talk rude. about opinions, you're, I'm talking about you're claiming that the Bible is the inspired word of God, and I'm pointing out things that are objectionable, yeah, this, and you are not acknowledging it. This, no, you're not acknowledging my right to the opinion, and you're not acknowledging... I am absolutely not, acknowledging your right to have an opinion. I can also point out that your opinion is nonsense. That it is immoral. You, you could call in and say, it's my opinion that it's okay to beat and rape people, but your opinion would be still moral still, wouldn't it? And you can say that your opinion is that nothing comes from nothing, that nothing it comes from intelligent design, and I can say the same thing. My opinion is you just but represented day, a cartoon straw man of my views because you refuse to honestly defend your own to the point where you've put yourself at odds with God. Well, I don't mind defending mine. I'm just saying I'm going to... You haven't defended a thing. You just blew it all off as opinion. God's got an opinion. You've got an opinion. I've got an opinion. Woo, look no, at all the assholes. God said, go. I said, well, God... I mean, you can cuss all you want. That's, you, You're God right. I can I fucking cuss as all I want. It doesn't make any difference. That's not... Why would you bring yes, that up? Right. It's not relevant. Why can't you say that slavery is immoral? Well, why can't you say that homosexuality is not some kind of an abomination? You really have, like, you're not having any manners. When you have a dialogue or a conversation, it's a back and forth. You're on the mic, so you're trying to control, control the conversation, but you're not being rude. I, I, mean, think, Calvin, I think, Calvin, I think, Calvin, if you go back, we were more than patient with you, including giving you time to turn down the shit that was going on behind you after pointing it out twice. And when I've asked questions, yeah, I've, when that. I've asked questions, I offered you a chance to respond. You just don't like it because when I pointed out problems with your book, you were faced with two possibilities. 
holy crap, if I agree with him, that means I'm saying there's something wrong with the Bible, and I can't do that, so I'd better disagree with him, even if it makes me look like an immoral, inhuman person. Well, this is the thing. I don't, I don't mind answering questions. I, the only thing I mind is at the end of the day, even if we disagree about what you believe and what I believe, at the end of the day, we have our own belief system. So even if you, if you don't believe what I believe, I'm still going to respect you and I'll still be respectful to you. And I only mention the custom because what happened to good grammar. That's why I mentioned that. That's the only reason I even said that. I, I respect your right to hold whatever view you want or you hold, but I don't respect your views. I will never respect the views of people who can't come out and simply say that slavery is immoral, who can't come out and say that women and men should be treated equally, who can't come out and say that, hey, if you're gay, it's not an abomination and you don't deserve to be put to death. I'm not going to respect those views, just like I don't respect the KKK, just like I don't respect fascists, just like I don't respect sexists, just like I don't respect rapists. If something is immoral, I'm not going to respect that view, even though you have a right to your opinion. Why do you why why do you why are you willing to be immoral instead of acknowledging that your book is immoral? Well, hold up, let me get past these people because I'm going to start. But I mean, I, I'm not I'm not. You're saying like I'm being immoral. You are. But I mean, like I said, with all due respect, that's your opinion. Whatever you, you right. know, whatever you feel. Correct. It, it, it's my opinion. You, you told us that slavery is okay. Yeah. That's immoral. I said It's Don's opinion, too, and I bet if I asked for a show of hands on the other side, uh, I'd get a show of hands. But you know what? I don't need to do that because that's a self-selected audience full of godless heathens who came to watch the show. So why don't we just go to the United Nations Charter that denounces slavery? Why don't we go to the bulk of modern civilization that has fought against slavery and claimed that it's an abomination? You've got one thing that's an abomination, which you are not willing to denounce, and another thing that's not an abomination, which you are claiming is an abomination. You're not going to lecture me about morals and then, oh, it's just my opinion. Well, who gives a rat's ass about your opinion? I mean, you, you, uh, you obviously don't. You're asking for it. Correct. You're being anal when I give it to you. I'm only saying like this, okay, do I believe that people should still be sacrificing animals as, you know, Repentance for their sins? Uh, no, but did it happen? Yes. Do we, are we still under that? No. Should I'm we have ever done it? That. Should we have ever done it? Uh, should people have ever did uh, things they've done in history before? No. But at, with that same Has slavery regard, ever been moral? Happened, you can See, here's the thing. This is and this is where we're going to end, and I'm going to give you the last word because you are now flagrantly dishonest because nobody brought up this idea of sacrificing animals but your position well, is you your, posi your, your position your position is that people shouldn't do that anymore but at one point in time they did and my question was should they have done it then and your answer was not yes they should have or no they shouldn't it was hey people did stuff back then either answer the question that is presented to you or go away should they have sacrificed animals back then Uh, I guess he chose go away. <laughs> it's 6.02. Let's end.